grounds for post-traumatic stress disorder. If you've been through something that's been rough, like out of the normal scale of rough, it's like your body doesn't know how to process this and it becomes a trauma, which can manifest in ways that you don't really completely understand or in ways that are really detrimental to the way you're progressing in life. Um, and you don't really understand it and it gets very frustrating. It can be this kind of like negative loop. And there are all these kind of big um, like symptoms or, or, or indicators that you might have PTSD, which is kind of, you can have avoidance behavior, you can be acting more aggressively, you have repeated flashbacks, uh, you can have a lot of like self-harming actions. Um, just this feeling of distance to people. There are all these kind of ways that it manifests and it's different for different people, but it's just, essentially a, a term that describes the inability to go on living the way you're used to after having experienced either one specific trauma or a lot of traumas over your life. When you look at kind of systemic oppression as such. You are predisposed to having more trauma than people that have a different background. And that is that is handed out from generation to generation. If you look at South Africa, you can very much see that that is the case. If you're born in a rougher part of a township and your parents were born there and their parents were born there, it's harder for you to get out of it. You have cycles of poverty and the contribute to stopping people from achieving what they can achieve. And that's the worst part of it, because you have smart, beautiful individuals who already, from birth, are going to have to work harder and be a little bit luckier than people who have been born and a little more fortunate. experience trauma, you have trauma centers, uh, but you have hotlines. And so you can go to the nearest trauma center and you have um, educated therapists, uh, psychologists, they're, they're there to talk with you. And it's, it's a free offer in Norway. Um, and you also have support groups for people, not just who have experienced trauma, but for family and friends of the person who has experienced the trauma to help them know how to deal with it because I think part of it is if, if you have been through something and people keep bringing it up in a way that's harmful in a way or if they don't understand what you're going through they can kind of instigate it or make it worse somehow or, or bring back flashbacks or you know you can kind of it's equally important to know how to help someone with PTSD as it is to help people with PTSD. Shout out to Sabisa, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful idea, and I hope it works. What I like about it is that you are giving the community the opportunity to help shape the fundament for their future. You're helping them uh, see how to create the structures that are going to help them succeed. And it is, it is a step that needs to be, it is a step that needs to be taken. I mean, part of the problem is you need to have housing so people can start dignified lives. It all kind of, it's a positive, it's a positive feedback. You know, it's all determined by how we perceive everything. And you have complete ownership over your world. Thank <laughs> you.